There were preliminary data showing that the resistant mechanisms for osimertinib failure of patients is different from patients who failed uh, first generation or second generation EGFR TKI, uh, EGFTMI, elotinib, or fatinib. Uh, for example, you don't see T7 ITM, for example, in the plasma. Um, therefore, uh, it is very important for us to know what, uh, what is the major resistance mechanisms after osimertinib failure. Fluoros study provide us a large number of osimertinib treated patients, and I hope in the future we'll be able to see uh, the bio, bio, biomarker changes in the plasma or in the rebiosis specimen after osimertinib failure, and compare that with patients who fail to fit in or alternate. Although um, <coughs> there might be some differences, we know that uh, in the hard data, which is overall survival analysis, this is all in favor of starting or submitting as a first line. But knowing these uh, resistance mechanisms will certainly uh, improve our ability to uh, enhance the uh, capabilities of osmentin to lengthen patients' overall survival outcome in the future.